We are back with Farming Sim back in my day and we have officially spent all of our money and probably some of the bank's money. So we've made a ton of purchases. We have a lot to get to today. As you see, the farm might look different to you. We knocked down the old shed because we're buying a new one. We're building a new one today. We bought a new, brand new planter for our corn, sunflowers and stuff. This will be perfect for the bigger tractor. Got it from the comments. So thank you to whoever recommended this. I appreciate it. It is the next upgrade for the farm. But wait, there's something else. I feel like a TV salesman when I say that. So we bought a brand new combine also. Case just released a brand, brand new combine. So we are going to travel 12 hours to another city to go pick up the combine. I am so excited. We have one of the only in the state. So we're going to be the first people with this brand new combine. So we're going to go grab that in a second. We have something else. That field next to our field? Ours. We've now purchased that field. Let's run over there real quick. I want to go take a look at it. So here it is. That field on the other side, that was our first field. This field, yes, this whole field is now ours. We planted some oil seed on it. We're going to disc it all up. That'll fertilize the soil perfect for when we probably plant corn next. We'll probably get to that today, actually. So one question, do we combine both fields or do we leave this road in the middle? The farmer we bought it from, that's his farm right there. He said he recommended we leave the road for him, but he doesn't mind it if we want to combine them. So I want to know y'all's thoughts. Do we plow this up and just make it one big field or do you want to keep it separate? I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Let's get to work. We have so much to do today. I probably say that a lot. We really do today. So I want to finish disking this field then I want to hook this guy up to that brand new planter and plant corn on both the fields. And I want to go pick up our brand new case harvester. We'll probably do that right now. So we'll have this person finish disking this field. We'll run over there, pick up the brand new case harvester. Like I said, it's a 12 hour drive. Um, it'll probably be dark by the time we get there actually. Um, but we'll pick it up. We'll come back. He should be finished with this. It'll be the next day and then we can start planting. Some corn or sunflowers? I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to check market prices to see which one we need. We need. Um, I'm leaning more towards corn though. Let's get our 4020 and hook up to that cedar and get it out of the way so we can build our brand new shed. I'm excited, a bigger shed. Oh, and you might notice Rufus is not there. We just moved his doghouse a little bit. So let's feed him right quick. There you go, buddy. He likes this spot better because the water's right next to it. Go get it. Our big tractor is the only tractor that can pull this cedar. Um, it requires like 200 horsepower. The 4020 can't quiet pull that. The 4020, we, I don't want to sell it, but I don't know. We, we really don't have much need for it. We don't really use it too much. There's nothing we really use it for. So I don't know, let me know your thoughts. We might need to sell the 4020 also. I don't want to, but we might need to. It is time to go make our trip. Go pick up our new harvester, show you all the new harvester. It comes with a corn header, a foldable one. The first foldable corn header we have ever seen. So it is time to run over there, quickly grab it. Well, I guess a quick, like I said, 12 hour drive. Grab it as quick as we can and then come back. We're gonna do our best. So uh, hope you brought some snacks. We are pretty tired, but we are finally arrived at the Case dealership. This is one of their headquarters up here. So I think that's probably why we're getting the first look at one of their new harvesters. I have not seen it. We just got in contact with them. We told them we'd be more than happy to buy it. We were in the need of a new harvester anyways with that new field. So let's check it out. There it is. Oh, and it's got the foldable header like he said. 1640 case with the super wide tires on the front. Oh, I love this thing folds out it's a little newer and looking also than the john deere we have i am excited for this thing i cannot wait to put this guy to work let's get it loaded up and let's start our drive back like i said it's it's not it's not an easy drive so let's get it let's get it over with i think backing it up is probably our best option all right we got it on there it's not the best fit it's gonna be a long ride as you can see out of our truck the tires are starting to squat a little bit Buckle up, it is another 12 hour drive. I'm not looking forward to it. By the time we get back to our farm, it should be daylight. We might stop at a hotel if we get too tired and sleep. All right, Case, thank you. We're on our way. 
I don't think I can explain to you guys how happy I am to finally be home after that long drive. We ended up stopping at a hotel half the way. I could not make it all night. It was too much. We had all the Red Bulls, all the beef jerky. Still wasn't enough. But we have finally arrived. Finally. I want to get the new shed built. And I want to get this planter hooked up to our big tractor and start on that field. Start planting some corn. Corn is what we're going to go with. But I still need y'all's opinion. That middle piece, do I just plow it and make it one big field or not? Also, anything else you want to see in this farm? New equipment? New tractors? The 4020? Should it go? Should it stay? What new tractors do we need? We probably need another bigger one. Let me know. And while you're doing that, give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It does help the channel. It really does. So give it a thumbs up. Come on. So this is the shed we're going to go with. It is a nice shed. It has a big open spot for a combine. Some other spots that'll fit our little tractors and equipment. We broke down that little building that was here when we purchased the farm. So this will be a huge, huge upgrade for us. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. We might need even to get rid of that little shed now. That might hold both of our combines, which would be huge. It probably will if we take the headers off. Let's get our case combine off this trailer and into our brand new shed. We can't have it sit on this weather. Let's get it off. I love this foldable header though. That is so big. I don't have to take it off and we can store it in the shed without needing a forklift, which is huge. All right. I can't wait to get this guy to work. I love John Deere. I'm a John Deere fan through and through. This harvester's awesome. I love the wide tires on the front. I love the foldable header. I think it's just better than that John Deere. It is slightly newer, slightly better too. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. It's just better. Okay, let's put this guy in here. I think we're gonna fit both combines in here. That'll be big. That way we can put a big tractor and some of the other tractors under there. All right, that is an awesome upgrade for our farm. That is very big. Very, very big. I could actually probably leave this corn header on here. It, it's small enough where I think it'll fit. As you see the inside, this one's definitely much older. Watch out, watch out, Rufus. Rufus, you know better than that? You're a farm dog. I will say I am super happy with this shed. That is perfect. Like I said, we are finished disking this field. Let's fold this up. I want to go grab that cedar and start planting some corn. It's going to take us a while. But it is new, we gotta figure it out, see how it works. And that big field, that is gonna take a very long time. But I'm excited. We're upgrading all of our stuff. This tractor's awesome, that case harvester, awesome. Any more recommendations for our farm, please let me know. I need to start making some space around here. We're, we're kinda running out of space. Um, we'll start putting some stuff in the sheds here in a second. But for now, just so we can get started, we'll put the disc right there. Let's hook up to this planter and let's get started. And uh, we'll come back here in a little bit and start cleaning things up. It's kind of messy, but... There it is. I just want to get started on the big field, honestly. So we'll do this bottom portion and then we'll start doing the long way. There it is. It pulls it like nothing. No problems. We're going to have a lot of corn here coming up pretty soon. We might need to upgrade our truck, get a bigger truck. We might need to buy another plant or two. What do y'all think? I mean, it's going to take me a very long time to plant this field with this one planter. And it is an upgraded planter. And it is bigger. But this field is huge. Let me know y'all's thoughts. Should I buy another one of these? Because if I do, I got to buy another tractor too. We just spent a very, very, very large chunk of money. So we can't spend too much. So our farm is growing. I think it's coming along perfect. I've loved everything about it. I've had so much fun on back in my day. If there's anything you guys want to see on this farm, on this channel, just say hi, whatever. Leave it in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up while you're there. Just give it, click that thumbs up for me. And until next time, make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, watch more of our videos. Bye.